It would be good, Pat. I think you need uh, you need one of these things. What do you think? It's too heavy for me to pedal. What are you saying? What are we doing, Carson? We are doing the front rotor of my Party Monster 2013. So these rotors that came out of the um, factory. Ducati, I, I read up on it, Ducati decided, uh, decided to save money on the rotors by shaving half a millimeter out of them. So it went from I think something like 6 millimeter down to 5.5 millimeters. And they end up with a crap load of them whopping within one period, like within like three months. They were getting a bunch of them going back to a one t uh, period. For, to have them replaced and mine actually lasted three years before they warp so that's so actually it is warped? oh yeah they warp for sure like so when you break the bikes go to go 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 they're like it's just like bouncing on the suspension okay it's like really annoying so so well, how do we take it apart so i bought these new <laughs> ones i went with the ebc they were not cheap so are we gonna put those onto my car? They were decent ones. Uh, yeah, I don't think of it on your car, unfortunately. They're way too thin for cars. <laughs> They'll warp immediately. And since you're changing rotor, you have to get um, brake pads too. So we're just doing those. So I think first thing we probably need to do right now is to take the uh, brakes out. That's probably the first step. So we'll get these uh, calipers off it. And then after that, we can loosen this axle bolt just the same way we take off for the front wheel, right? After that, um, once the wheel's off, and then we just have to um, look for and, and do all these um, bolts on the rotor. That should um, do it. Uh, we just have to remember to put on Loctite. That's the easiest step to forget. Um, Look up the talks back for it, and that should be it. There might be some sort of talk pattern too. Sometimes they have that, and you have to talk them up in a certain order. We'll deal with that uh, as we cross the bridge. But yeah, that should be an easy job, right? Famous last word? Yeah, should be like 10 minutes. Okay, perfect. There are three things we need in order to get this job done. So, what's the first step? First step, we need to take off the bridge and we need a, I think it's an 8 mil, is it? Mm -hmm. 8 mil uh, hex key to take these brakes calipers off. And after the brake calipers are off, we can use our 28 mil ginormous socket to get this uh, nut off. And then we can pull the axle out and then the wheel should be free after that. And after the wheel is free, we will need this. Oh my god, it's very tricky. It's a T45, I think. Is it T45? Yeah. T45 um, key uh, to get the rotors out at the end. Another thing that we're gonna need is a uh, Loctite. It's always a good idea to wear protection, right? Pretty straightforward. Or not. Okay. Okay. It's nice that they're tight. Don't <laughs> be really scary, they're like completely loose. Okay. So we want to take the bolts out. Are you shy? <coughs> Are you interweb shy? YouTube shy. Okay, so this sort of come out a little bit funny. You have to uh, pull that out this way. The best the one thing to be careful is not to scratch your wheel uh, because the size of these uh so some people like to put a t-shirt on it just to make sure they don't scratch but um the idea is to uh, get the calipers open up a little bit by moving around and then tilt tilt it enough that you can get it off okay there you go now it's off so um, yeah, hopefully we can, we'll do it at the end, uh, but we don't want to 
put too much stress on it. Sometimes I just put um, put a bit of a get a hanger, get a coat hanger. Yeah, either coat hanger or even a zip zip tie or something zip it to here, so it doesn't put too much strain onto the uh, brick line. So next step is this huge um, nut right here. I hold the. Uh, so, and of course I'm not strong enough, I'm going to get a sheet of bar. Okay. Okay. Alright, that was too hot. Okay. So, alright, get this guy off. Hopefully that's it. Um, buddy, I just noticed the uh, pinch bolt on these, uh, on the axle is actually at the bottom. So I have to, um, uh, most bikes have the pinch bolts up front instead, but the kind of just I put it at the bottom. So what I have to do is get it off the front stand first, undo the pinch bolts, which is probably like a um, six mil uh, hex uh, hex key or something like that, and then um, after that put it back on the on the uh, front stand. Hopefully we can get the axle out of that port. And how many are there on each side? Two on each side. So a total of four of them. So once you loosen them, the, in theory, the uh, axle should come out. Yeah, I think that should do their finger loose now. I think if I put them back on the stand now, the axle should come out. Do it. On. Okay. There you go. Yeah, the axle came without. Okay. A rock climber, so he probably could just pull it right over his fingers. Okay, good. Thanks for uh, saving it. <laughs> <laughs> no. So the important thing is not to uh, mess up the side. So remember which side. So as I remember, it's just go stand back up. Uh, if you ever do it on, uh, if you're easy to forget, it's always good to draw the um, direction on the tire. Oh my God, it's so tight. Why is it so tight? Okay. Which way to thread it? Um, should be normal thread. I'm gonna do that. Gonna switch pad. So while pad's doing that, I'm gonna open up a new set of rotors to take a look what it looks like. Quality improved. Okay, that's what the new set. Rotors look like right, made by EBC. See any, um, yeah, I don't see any bolts that came with it. So, you're probably gonna have to use the uh, original bolts. There's nothing wrong with that. So, it looks to me the this is the outside of it. This the outside doesn't have any writing, so it's probably go in the inside. Okay. Yeah. This it looks like it went down. It went down, so I think we need it actually. So let's put the shooting keep that as is. And then put it on here. Oh yeah, that's probably where it has to go down. And this is the uh, old one. I take that from you. Thank you. Just reading our instructions and so let's use glue. So basically, yeah, you put it on. Okay. I'm ready, Pat. Bend over. Bend over. Okay. I just put a little bit of this. Okay. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Well, here's what it is. <laughs> okay. So I'll put this in. 
Hmm, that's interesting. Because by the time I get them all in, they might all be dry. I hope not. Okay, so they all got Loctite in it. I am just about to start tightening now. What pattern are you going to tighten? Um, well, uh, that's only for talking. I'm just putting them in right now. So I'll tighten it after. But usually the star shape is what is uh, called for, for a five bolt pen. So star shape is usually a safe bet. The top is going to be minimum 28, maximum 32 Newton meter. Okay. It's past 27. Okay, got it. Okay. So I'm gonna up to Okay. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Okay, so we just finished this side. <coughs> it's almost exactly the same as the other side. The only difference is it doesn't have the bracket on top, so it's actually easier. So now since we are doing the pads as well, at the same time, since whenever you put in new rotors, you should have new pads. So we might as well do it now while it's out. First and then apply them open, but Pat has a brilliant idea. Since these pads are gonna go to the garbage anyway, so might as well use them to pat the uh, calipers so they don't damage them so that's what I'm doing here, I put a screwdriver in there and just start plying to put the push the caliper inwards just to give it a bit more space right there's this little pin here <coughs> that you need to remove so the way I do it is to just use a screwdriver like this and then just pull it out you just keep my thumb on it and pull the pins out like that. And then after that, the pin is free, and you should be able to just pull it right out. You want to press? There you go. It's by hand. Look at this guy. Okay. And then after that, the bracket is free. The um, pads are free. So I usually put a little bit of anti-seize at the back of these pads in case they uh, get stuck onto the to the caliper. So just a little bit, you know, where the, the contact is. Should be good enough. Took us a while to find the pins because we put them, but we found them. That's all that matters. And then now we're putting them back in pin back in uh, it, it requires quite a bit of you know jiggling and and but basically ultimately it just took us a little while to align this last hole it went through both pads easily but the last hole was uh took a little bit of us for us to um, align it but now it's in so we just have to put the uh, safety pin back in and that would do it i think There, so now they're both in. You just get the wheels back on it first, and then um, get the caliper back on. So once the that that we know everything goes well on that side at least, then we can work on the second side. <coughs> so that went smoothly. Everything went back in together beautifully. Um, so now Pat is going to do the same thing. He's going to get the. Uh, First of all, uh, apply the calipers wide open again. Once done, we got the new pads in, and uh, we're just juggling that pin again. We didn't show this part, so we're gonna show it now. But there's really not a whole lot to it other than getting the pins in there, and then start trying to align it all the way through and just push it in basically just juggle it just have to get this back in see okay. okay make 
make sure that's wide open. Clamp onto the thing. Okay, good to go. Find the Torx bags. Uh, uh, so it actually turns out to be 45 newton meter and then 33 foot pounds. So um, I do better foot pounds. So I'm just on, on this big um, top wrench. I got only got foot pounds. So I'm gonna stick to that. 33 foot pound. Let's see how it goes. A little bit on each until it clicks. 32. Okay, so I might have over talk a little bit the other one, but I think it's gonna be fine. But we're talking the front axle nut now is supposed to be 46 foot pound. The rest of it is we opened that up earlier with the two screws. Now it's um, it's a little bit lower, but I think it's that's all you need. You don't need any more. So Pat is gonna talk up the. Uh, pinch bolts so it's really not that much talk at all these things uh, I, well my Manta Kramer always talk about working on motorcycles I work on jewelries everything is super delicate so you gotta you know stop using your fingers uh, you almost never want to use power tools on these things but uh, very delicate, make sure you get the right torque specs, get a good torque uh, wrench to work on these things uh, very carefully. Okay, so we finished talking everything with 14 torque pounds or foot, uh, foot pound or four uh, pinch bolts. Now we just put it back on the stand now. First thing I'm checking is what's the fuel like? Oh. Yeah, so I need to pump a bunch of time. It's hitting all the way. Oh, now it's feeling better. So that's pretty normal. So I probably have to check the fluid level again now because um, I think a bunch of fluid probably went down now. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit lower than like. Mm, maybe just top it up a little bit. Um, we had a little bit of discussion, um, we decided it's probably a good idea just to uh, give the brake system a bleed since it's probably going to be like a five minutes job anyway, might as well do it. So we're going to top up the foot there. Uh, there's just two caps at the bottom we need to open up. One's on this side, I'm going to pop that open now. Okay, so I'm going to put a hose in it and a wrench in it and then one of us is going to pump one of us is to do the release and see how it looks like okay so this is what it looks like when it's hooked up with the wrench ready deployed um, so Pat is going to pump the brakes now for me okay I can pump hold yeah down to the bottom. Yeah, good. Pump. Hold. Yeah. Down to the bottom. Okay, so that was it. Uh, we finished bleeding. Um, both neither side has any air, so we just basically did about three, three pump of it, um, and everything is fine. We put the top up the uh, fluid on the reservoir and. Uh, close the lid, uh, screw it back in and that's basically it. So we tested the um, lever, um, it, we, we decided to set it at 4, that's basically pull as hard as I can, it's still not hitting and I wanted to give a little bit, maybe another centimeter left for it to go in case the, the brakes get too hot or start giving in a little bit, I still won't hit the, um, it still won't hit the handlebar. So that's basically it. It's all done. So that's how you do a brakes. If you have any questions, just feel free to um, ask in the comment section. Comment section, and then um, if um, yeah, just give us a shout. Bye.